so sometimes in classes you're asked to not just um, work with one variable, you may have multiple variables, and this is an example that you may see. So this is an equation that you've probably seen before um, for temperature, working with Fahrenheit and Celsius. And this particular one has been solved for Fahrenheit. Notice that what we're asked to do is to solve for Celsius. So our goal, of course, is to get the C completely by itself. Okay, so first question, is there anything I can simplify on the left? No. Is there anything I can simplify on the right? No. So we're ready now to move things and to do our solving piece. So notice that the letter that we're trying to solve for, which is C, is on the right-hand side. And notice that there are two things in the way of us having C completely by itself. We have 9 fifths and we have plus 32. You will always get rid of the addition or the subtraction piece before you ever touch anything that's being multiplied or divided. So notice that 9 fifths is being multiplied by C. I'm not going to touch the 9 fifths right now. I'm going to focus on the addition or subtraction piece, which is the plus 32. So how would you move or get rid of a plus 32? The opposite, of course, would be to subtract 32 from both sides. Remember, whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. Now, be extremely careful on this um, left-hand side. F and negative 32 are not like terms, so you can't combine them together. So you just basically write them side by side. So F minus 32. Bring down your equal sign. And then on the right-hand side, you're still left with 9 fifths C. And 32 minus 32 cancel out. The whole purpose was to remove that addition or subtraction piece first. Now, still trying to solve for the C, which is here. Notice that the only thing bothering or in the way of us solving for C is the 9 fifths, which is being multiplied by C. One option, we could divide both sides by 9 fifths. That would get a little messy. There's an easier way, a little trick um, to do this that's a little easier to get that C by itself. So instead of dividing by both sides by 9 fifths, what we can do is we can multiply both sides by what's called the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 9 fifths is just the flip of it, which is 5 over 9. And remember, as long as I do it to both sides, it's OK. And I want to start with the right-hand side first, why that's so important to multiply by the reciprocal. Notice, I have a 5 in the top. A 5 in the bottom, they cancel. Notice, I have a 9 in the top, a 9 in the bottom, they cancel. And right off the bat, you can see that you're simply left with C. So an option is to multiply by that reciprocal when you're dealing with a fraction. On the other side, of course, I still have 5 ninths, and then in parentheses, F minus 32. So if I rewrite, I'm just going to change the sides, um, flip it. So if I have C equals, and it's going to be equal to 5 ninths, then in parentheses, F minus 32. Again, a formula that you have probably seen before. The original formula was solved for F. This one has now been solved for C or Celsius. So just working with temperature. Another problem with temperature. In this particular one, we're still working with the same formula we were just a minute ago but we're wanting to convert 72 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The first method, so we'll call this method one, is to use the formula that we have in front of us and simply substitute in the 72 in place of the F. So I have 72 is equal to 9 fifths C plus 32. Again, my goal is to solve for Celsius. So, if you remember what we did just a moment ago, that we're going to do exactly the same thing. We need to get rid of the 9 fifths and the plus 32, and I'm going to always start with addition or subtraction first. So, to get rid of the positive 32, we're simply going to subtract 32 from both sides. So, 72 minus 32 is going to give me 40. Hang on to your equal sign. And then on the right-hand side, we have 9 fifths C, and 32 and negative 32, of course, cancel out. See if you remember the little trick from just a moment ago. 
So I'm trying to get rid of the 9 fifths in front of the C. I could divide both sides by 9 fifths, but an easier, quicker way is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which would be 5 ninths. So let's see what happens. On the right-hand side, we'll start with that first. The 5's cancel, the 9's cancel, and you're left with C, which was what you wanted in the first place. On the left-hand side, notice that I could rewrite 40 as 40 over 1, and I can multiply straight across. So 5 times 40 would be 200, and in the denominator, 9 times 1 would be 9. Now you could leave it like that, or we could also put it in the calculator and do 200 divided by 9. So C is approximately... 22.2 or 22.2 degrees Celsius is approximately the same thing as 72 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> so that's the first method. The second method, method two, would be to go back to what we just found a few minutes ago. In the last slide, we found that Celsius is equal to 5 ninths, parentheses, F minus 32. We solved the formula already for Celsius. Could I plug the same thing in here and get the same answer? Should be able to, so let's do that. So in place of F, I'm going to substitute in the 72. So C equals 5 ninths times 72 minus 32. And as we do this, I want you to notice the relationship between method 1. Okay, first thing, based on order of operations that I would do, is what's inside the parentheses first. 72 minus 32, which is 40. And notice we came up with 40 over here as well, when we did 72 minus 32. And then we're back to the same spot we were in the previous problem. I can put this over 1 and multiply straight across. Same place we were right here, 5 ninths times 40 over 1, which we know gave us 200 over 9, which we know is approximately 22.2 degrees Celsius. So, this is solving equations.